Hey everyone, we're making a series of videos available to you to learn Amazon EC2 with 10 labs and 20 facts and refreshers for your exam. The full course is available on YouTube. It's also available on Udemy. You can check the links in the description below to view the Udemy link. This course is produced by Cloud Yeti. We make simplified cloud computing, AWS, and DevOps videos. You can contact us by emailing us, checking out our GitHub, visiting our website, or following us on LinkedIn. I'll be the presenter for this course. My name is Saurav Sharma. I am seven times AWS certified. You can support us by helping us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're currently around 3,300 and reaching 5,000 is very important to us. So if you want to support us, start by subscribing to us. And you can also watch our other content, uh, buy our courses on Udemy, etc. We're adding a lot more content, so we're open to feedback, suggestions, and requests from you guys because we're making these videos for you guys. All right, now let's get started. Welcome back. This is part two of lab four, uh, where we're talking about EC2 permissions with IAM roles. And the part two actually deals with the IAM roles. Um, in the first part, we used you know, access key ID and secret access key to access S3 from EC2. Now let's go to the IAM dashboard and create a role. So here I'm in my IAM management console. In the left navigation pane, I'm gonna click on roles. And in the roles uh, page, I'm gonna click on create role. In here, choose the service that will use this role. In our case, this will be an EC2 instance. So I'm gonna select this and click on next permissions. Now in here, you would add the policies that will attach to this role or this whoever is using this role would have these perm these permissions whoever is using this role would have these uh, permissions contained in these policies so I'm going to search for s3 full access and also for EC2 full access Right, S3 full access and EC2 full access, uh, and we need EC2 because we will reuse this role in the next lab. So let's select this one as well. Say next, next review. The role name will be S3 uh, or EC2 S3 access, right? And allow allow EC2 to make S3 and EC2 API calls. And make sure you you know have these two, S3 full access and EC2 full access, and then create a role, and you should be ready to use this role now. So the name is, once again, EC2 S3 access. Now I'm gonna go to the EC2 dashboard, and here I'm gonna go to my EC2 instances. To attach the role, click on actions, click on instance settings, select instance settings, and click on attach replace IAM role. Click on this and on this drop down, select the role that you created earlier. Right now we only have one role, so I'm gonna select this and apply. Okay, so as soon as this is applied, right, you can go to your terminal. So once you're back in the terminal of your EC2 instance, you can type AWS S3 LS for listing the buckets. And you should be able to see the buckets listed here. Now, as you saw, you know, we weren't able to do this earlier because we didn't have the credentials. We removed the credentials file by using a command like you know rm 
something like this right now you know this file is not even there and we are able to you know access uh, s3 using roles now let's quickly go back to the ec2 instance just so you're absolutely clear on this I'm gonna to go to my EC2 instance. I'm gonna click on Actions, Instance Settings, Attach Replace IM Role, right? And I'm gonna say No Role, Remove the Role, Apply, Detach the Role, right? I just detached the role. So once I detach the IM Role from the instance and come back to the EC2 instance and type in AWS s3 ls i won't be able to list the buckets because the role was detached now you know i hope you just got the idea now role is letting us use this command to list the s3 bucket so i'm going to go back again and attach the role to the ec2 instance one more time instance settings Attach replace I am role. EC2 S3 access role. Apply. Now if I go back to the terminal and do this, I should be able to list buckets because I have the roles now. So you know, roles attached, you know, you can list the buckets. Roles detached, you cannot list the buckets. So once we've made that clear, let's look how roles work actually. All right, so what happens when you use roles is roles actually use, you know, access key and secret access key. But they use a temporary access key and secret access key, right? And using the security token service on AWS. So I'm going to quickly show you this. This is like a optional section, just giving you extra information here so that, you know, things are even more clear. I'm going to type in this command, type enter, oops, with a slash at the end, type enter. And after you type this much, whatever you see in here is the name of the role that's attached to the EC2 instance. So I'm going to copy this and bring the previous command with an up arrow and paste the name of the role slash and enter. Now a command like this, which will let you query the metadata of EC2 instance. So you and I will have common uh, command until here and everything after here, the name of the role will be different depending on what you uh, chose the name for your IM role. So once you create a command like this and enter in the terminal, you'll see something like this as the result, which will have the access key ID and secret access key, just like before. But in this case, you also get something called token, you know, which is an extra thing that is used for these temporary credentials. And this also has an expiration of, you know, 1240 after a few hours this uh, access key ID and secret access key will expire and something new will come up so even if someone gets access to these keys you know they are temporary so with that we have demonstrated how roles work and why they are a better option or a better practice than hard coding access key and secret access key as you can see roles are temporary you know and they are not hard coded with that, we've come to the end of this lab. We'll be reusing this uh, instance, this EC2 instance for our next lab. So if you want to do less work in the next lab, you're free to save this EC2 instance. I'll see you in the next lab. Thank you for watching.